Hello and welcome to physicscatalyst.com. In this video, we would learn about force formula and solve few problems related to force formula. Before going any further, let us first look at what is force. Now if we go by intuition, force is described as push and pull. But a physics student might think about force as an interaction that can modify the state of rest and motion of an object. Now there is one more thing, application of force can also change shape of the body. Now that we have defined force, we shall now learn about force formula that can be used when we know about mass and acceleration of a moving object. Now according to Newton's second law of motion, the formula of force is mass times acceleration. Mathematically it is written as F is equals to mass times acceleration where F is force applied on the object, M is mass of the object and A is acceleration of the object. Now you might have noted this arrow over force and acceleration. This arrow is there because both force and acceleration are vector quantities. So both these quantities have magnitude as well as direction. In SI units, force is measured in kg meter per second whole square, which is also known as Newton. In CGS units, force is measured in dynes. So now we know that force formula is given by relation F is equals to mass times acceleration. Now from this expression, we can clearly see that it is a simple algebraic expression. And if we have information about any two of these quantities, we can easily find third unknown quantity using this formula. So now we know that this force formula F is equals to MA is an algebraic expression and with knowledge of any two quantities, third unknown quantity can be easily found. So we can see from this force triangle that we have three different possibilities. That is, we can get three different algebraic expressions using the relation between force, mass and acceleration. Now in our first case, if we have knowledge of force F and mass M, then we can easily calculate the acceleration of the body. So we have knowledge of force and mass. So force divided by mass gives acceleration. So we would have acceleration A is equals to F by M. Now in our second case, we have knowledge of force and acceleration. And force divided by acceleration would give us the value of mass of the object. So we have our second relation as mass of the object M is equals to F by A. Now in a third case, in this formula triangle, we have knowledge of mass M and acceleration A. So since we have knowledge of mass M and acceleration A, we can use these quantities to find the force applied on the object. 
सो और थर्ड इक्वेशन और रिलेशन इज एफ इज इक्वल्स टू मास टाइम्स ए एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट फोर्स फॉर्म्यूला now that we have discussed about force formula we would now look at two or three questions that can be solved using this force formula let us now look at our question 1 it states that what force would be required to produce an acceleration of 2 meter per second square in a ball of 8 kg so for solving the question we would first write down the information given in the question so it is given in the question that mass m is equal to 8 kg acceleration a is equals to 2 meter per second whole square and force f is unknown and it is what we have to calculate so from the relation f is equals to mass times acceleration we get F is equals to eight times two newton. On calculating, we get force F is equals to sixteen newtons, which is our required answer. Let us now look at our second question. It states that a constant force acting on a body of mass three kg. changes at speed from 2 meter per second to 3.5 meter per second in 25 seconds the direction of motion of the body remains unchanged what is the magnitude and direction of the force now to solve this question we would first have to write down the information given in the question so it is given in the question that mass of the body is m is equals to 3 kg speed of the body initial speed of the body is v 0 is equals to 2 meter per second speed of the body at time t is equals to 25 second is v at time t is equals to 3.5 meter per second and time in which the speed of body increases from 2 meter per second to 3.5 meter per second is equals to 25 seconds so we have to calculate both magnitude and direction of force now we know that force is given by relation f is equals to mass times acceleration but in the question we do not have any information about acceleration of the body we have information about initial and final velocity of the body and the time in which the body reaches from initial velocity or speed to its final speed so acceleration can be find using equation vt is equals to v0 plus at now putting in all the values we get 3.5 is equals to 2 plus 25 times a rearranging this equation to find the value of a we get a is equals to 0.06 meter per second whole square now we already know that force f is equals to mass times acceleration so force f is equals to mass times acceleration is equals to 3 kg times 0.06 meter per second whole square which is equals to 0.18 newton now here in this case direction of force is along the direction of motion let us now look at our third question it states that a force of 72 dyne is inclined to the horizontal at an angle of 60 degree find the acceleration it produces in mass of 9 g which moves in horizontal direction so as usual let us first 
write down the information given in the question. It is given in the question that force F is equals to 72 dyne. And as discussed earlier, it is the CGS unit of force. It is also given that force is inclined at an angle theta is equals to 60 degree. Mass of the body is equals to 9 grams and we have to find acceleration A. Now since the body is moving in horizontal direction, we would first have to find the horizontal component of the force. So horizontal component of the force can be found using trigonometry. So horizontal component of the force is equals to fx is equals to f cos theta. So fx is equals to f cos theta. Putting in the values we get fx is equals to 72 times cos of 60 degree which is equals to 72 times 1 by 2 dyne is equals to 36 dyne. Now again from force formula F is equals to mass times acceleration. Acceleration is given by A is equals to F by M. We already know that F in this case is 36 dyne and mass is equals to 9 grams. So acceleration A is equals to 36 dyne divided by 9 grams is equals to 4 centimeter per second. So students, this is it for now. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up or consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.